ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wes Corwin Has Friends, a special part of the Wes Corwin Show. At this point in time, we'd like to bring on Doug Gillen, who's already talking. He's here with Wes Corwin, and they're going to play a game called Wes Corwin Loses Friends. Now you all remember that classic Wes Corwin bit where Wes Corwin talks about his friend messaging him about a Michael Jackson impersonator who only sings Sting songs. Mm -hmm. And that friend having a good joke concerning this particular ridiculous situation, Wes texting back with a better joke and then losing his friend. So, we have Wes Corwin on here today, as per usual. Wes, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for, thanks for having me, Doug. <laughs> thanks for having me on Wes Corwin has friends. <laughs> I feel like the guest so much. I, this podcast is, is, at the moment we're talking, um, 46 minutes long. And I have I have spoken for approximately three of those, which is so don't, surprising. When don't you get have, me wrong. I have me on. I feel like yeah. I control the content. I asked you the questions. Yeah, and you—that's the goal of the interview. Is nobody wants to hear me talk? It's the Doug Gillen interview. People want to hear you talk. Right. I just feel so powerless. People want. People want to. Hear. <laughs> this is a large assumption. <laughs> Hang on. All right. Let's, let's back to the. I uh, apologize. Yeah. I apologize. No, no. You're the you're the host. Yeah. <laughs> you're the host. <laughs> what's going on? Go on. So for this edition of Wes Corwin Loses Friends, a special part of Wes Corwin Has Friends, we are going to replicate that situation in which we present a ridiculous situation. Of course, these ridiculous situations have been written by Doug Gillen's wife and have never been seen before by Wes Corwin or Doug Gillen, and they will have to come up with jokes off the top of their heads. And if Wes Corwin's joke is that much better than Doug Gillen's, he may lose a friend. That, yeah. <laughs> All right. This, of course, is brought to you by Old Spice, Sweet Tense Deodorant, Wes's Dirty Roller Brush, and America Mixed Skittles. Yep. All right. Let's get to it, everyone. Uh, Your first topic. Go ahead. I think I think Doug's supposed to. You first. start. Oh, but okay. I, I'm telling but am you. I to reading, am I reading the topic? Oh, would you like me? To I, think, I think you should read the topic. I will read I'm the topic. To, yeah, I'm supposed to. Thanks, Doug. And then I, yeah. I'm the, I'm the, uh, no, you're the guy. I'm the yeah. Edmund. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, thanks, Doug. Our first topic today is a rain, oh, name a reindeer that only drives sport utility vehicle. Sport utility, sport, sport oh, sport utility vehicles, mm -hmm. like, like SUVs. Yeah. Right. Of course, I've never, um, heard this topic before. Uh, uh, I, w I would have to call that uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Range Rover. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. No, Rudolph. I don't, I don't hate that. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Josh McClain, if he's listening, he isn't. But if he is, he's groaning right now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a reindeer that only drives a uh, sport utility vehicle. A reindeer that only drives sport utility vehicle. That's right. a that's a that's a pretty good one. That's very specific. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to let's see. Yeah. Sport utility vehicle. I would have to say let me th uh, sorry, I, I gotta go over the the reindeer in my head. No, okay. <laughs> Buy me as much time as you can with that theme song. <laughs> Uh, answer Wes's thoughts brought to you by the soccer trophy behind his computer. <laughs> uh, sport utility vehicle. Yeah. I would have to say... Hmm. Oh, instead of four runner, maybe four dasher? Yeah, that... that all right. Wes Corwin, everybody. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I feel... Okay. That's pretty good. I think we're still friends after that one. Oh, okay. I think I think I think I did go there. You know, I, yeah. Yeah. I never, I, I, I wear on you. That's how I lose right. the Okay, yeah, so I, you wear, wear it out. Wear I it apologize. Out. Right. Okay, I now apologize. That, that one's pretty good. So does the next one, do I go first then? No, no, no. I'll, I'll I, feel, I feel like, okay. Or yeah. do you do you feel like you have control of the board at this point? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I like I like the, okay, this is, you're supposed to come back with the, you're supposed to come back with the better joke. Yes, so yes. I feel like, I feel yes. like you should. Okay. No, don't stop that thing. Let that thing go every time. Okay. Play it. Yeah. <laughs> This section of the podcast, where we didn't plan the game well enough, is brought to you by Wes's AT&T Universe Router. <laughs> Just naming things on the We're desk. bringing, yeah. All right. Topic number two. Topic number two. Ancient Greek mythological character that likes to play Battleship. Ancient Greek mythological character that likes to play uh, Battleship. Um, I'm going to have to go with... Uh, 
dude, you sunk my Bacchus ship. <laughs> it doesn't quite work if that doesn't come. Isn't that Roman? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a Bacchus. Isn't no, it? I no, I'm it's sorry. It's a Roman name. That's for... that's bad to point. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that, that, that was, was that was good. That yeah, was, but it, okay, that was really good. you were so drunk, you sank my Bacchus, Bacchus. ship, dude. Instead of battleship, yeah, because it's. Now that one's pretty bad. No, okay, wait, let me try again. Let me try. Go okay, uh, Zeus, uh, instead of hurling lightning bolts, he just throws down uh, plastic red pegs at everybody. He just beans <laughs> everyone with. Yeah. No, nah, that's that's that's. Not, I'm not even going to play the music to save myself on that. That was th those are pretty bad. Was, okay. okay, so what do you got, Wes? Uh, ancient uh, ancient Greek, Greek, Greek mythological Greek. figure who loves to play battleship. Um. I would have to say uh, Hasbro Sidon. Oh my god, Hasbro Sidon. Hasbro Sidon. Hasbro Sidon was worth 250 <laughs> points. Hasbro. Hasbro's and a free salt shaker. Oh, okay. I was, I was worried I wouldn't get to keep that salt shaker on yeah. my desk. Yeah. Hasbro Sidon. Hasbro Sidon, that's pretty good. Thank you. If I had been texting you and we were only kind of friends and you, 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 yeah, I would, I would be a little pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might lose a friend with Hasbro. That's, um, that's brilliant. That's great. Had a pro side. Thank you. All right. Hef Are we still going? Or? I've been trying to think of something off of Hephaestus. Hephaestus? Hephaestus. Yeah. 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 You think of like a D guy, you go with the destroyer thing. You know, just like the different ships in the game. Yeah. Like what do you, you have a destroyer, you have like a tugboat or something? Carrier. There's Where the frigate. Have, yeah, the air aircraft carrier. Mm hmm. Yeah, you said, uh, something about Icarus maybe with the aircraft carrier. Carrieros. Well, no, that's Roman again. That's, yeah. 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 I mean, you know, who's counting? I thought we were trying to be more accessible. You're right. Oh, Bacchus ship, not <laughs> Dionysus ship. Fuck you, Doug. Game's up. That's I, how you lose friends. That's right there. I did. Not, that's that's exactly what I did. Yeah. But yeah. less aggressive. Hasbro, yeah. Right. Hasbro Sidon is pretty brilliant, though. That's a Repu Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Sorry. Round three. Round three. This round is brought to you by my broken iPhone charger. Again. Round three. Yeah. Name a Republican presidential candidate that loves having sex on an airplane. Yeah. Okay. This one's super easy. Uh, Ted cruising and copulating at 40,000 feet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah. that was pretty good. That would start a. That would start a. It, were we in front of a studio audience, they would say, "Lose that, friend." <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, that one's pretty good, yeah. man. Like, top that one. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. good. That's that pretty should, you should add that. If you keep doing this, you should add that. You get a sound, sound effect. People like, "Lose that, that friend." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. I mean I feel like you need to hear the joke to get the connection between us trying to one up each other and us hating each other though. Because like it seems it doesn't seem like an easy uh -huh. which is why the joke works, because it's surprising. Mm. <laughs> that last segment was brought to you by explaining jokes. <laughs> Always a good idea when you're on stage. Yeah. Explaining jokes. <laughs> That music is fantastic. I'm a, I'm, can, I, can I do an aside, or, or do you want to? No, you how do. You found is, that music? You, oh, sure. Yeah. So we, we just went like, "Hey, do we have some music for this game show thing we're gonna do?" And we typed in literally royalty-free game show music, and this came up, and the internet is amazing. <laughs> that section brought to you by the internet, <laughs> where you're listening to this podcast right now. The internet. <laughs> No one is going uh, to make it this far. No, 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 no. it's <laughs> okay. This is pretty great. Right. Okay. Do we have we have another round? Oh, you don't you don't want to hear my answer? Oh God, yes. <laughs> I was got so busy uh, talking about myself that I forgot if we were going to lose your friend. Yeah. Okay. So you need to beat uh, to beat this round. Wes has to beat Ted Cruz and copulating at forty thousand feet. The topic is Republican presidential candidates who like to have sex on airplanes. It's a bit of a stretch, so just just you know right. get, get get your not being impressed ready. Right. Carly Fiorina up in the air, legs up in the air. That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. That was I really I was like this could 
I would lose a friend, but for the opposite reason. Right, they would lose a friend because they'd be like, "Too far, dude. Yeah, too far. Get out of your apartment. Yeah, why? Why you got it? Why you got to pick on the woman presidential candidate? Man? Oh, it's a sex thing, and you yeah. go right for the woman. Yeah, this okay, is, yeah. Call yeah. her a slut. That's great. <laughs> I don't know why I started talking like a Jersey guy. Like the biggest defender no, of yeah. feminism is a dude, dude in Jersey. Dude from Jersey. Why you go after Fiorina? Why you got to do that? <laughs> Call him. Come so, on, I'm talking to you right now. The pay gap is a serious issue, and I'd <laughs> like you to acknowledge it. Yeah. It is a drag to see. If, if, if you don't think that a woman presidential candidate is not getting a fair shake the same way, if you, you're fooling yourself, man. You're fooling yourself. Hillary Clinton's job approval rating goes up every single time she's in a job, but every time she runs for a promotion or tries to get promoted for something, that's when everybody gets pissed off. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It's true. Yeah. This is the most offensive thing. This isn't offensive. I just had this thought, and I might. I'm just. I'm going to present it, and then we're going to move into round right, four. And we may or not. Yeah. I think it's a great idea to elect a female president, uh, because we'll be able to save money on paying her seventy-seven percent as much. Yep. There you go. Right. Yeah. Okay. That was really original. You came up with that all on your own. Round four. And that's how Wes Corbin was. You lost that friend. I thought, I thought you were going to lose the friends by making me so mad how clever you were, but really it's just a bad joke. So yeah, I'm like, just a terrible uh, person. Right. That's how that goes. Well, yeah. Round four. All right. <laughs> back to back plays. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Round four. Round four. Name a car mechanic with an extensive hat collection. Oh my god. A car mechanic. A car mechanic with, with an, an extensive, extensive hat collection. Hat collection. Did I come up with that one? Jeez, that one's hard. Um, um, the estimate only goes up if you berate him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got to play for that. Yeah, all right. Wes kind of looked at me like, the hell? And then just... All right, I got the... If you ber just get it, berate is a hat, and then berate... Is a hat and berate is, yeah, you know, that was a little different. I guess you could also say, uh, you could say, uh, um, replacing that cap is still going to cost you three hundred fifty dollars. That's that's actually clever. That's yeah. a good joke. That's a really good. Because it's a cap like on your transmission. What a cap, this. right? On your head. Yeah. Explain <laughs> jokes. <laughs> They've been a longtime sponsor of the show. Is <laughs> explaining jokes. <laughs> I, I hear the, the dinner parties are very nice. <laughs> a car mechanic with an extensive hat collection um, could be a haberake dasher. Uh, haberdasher. Haberdasher. Haberake dasher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. A, a car mechanic with, uh, with an extensive hat collection. Uh, might say just, to you, oh, you, might, oh yeah, you got it, you got it. Might, might say to you, uh, sombrero's gonna be paying for this for a long time. <laughs> yep, that's, yeah, that's, it, uh, that's what they'd say. That was, that was pretty bad. Was, okay. All right, do we have we have another one? I think. Yeah, this is this is round five. Round this five. Is, this is the final final round oh, uh, where we we distribute final round five. Yeah, round five. This is the final round. This is uh, this is the this is the tiebreaker if there were a tie. Yeah, I don't know. Is someone winning? I don't. Yeah, I don't we think need to work on the rules. I think the one ending to this game is either I lose you as a friend or I don't. Lose oh you. right, right. There's yeah. There's not really a functional uh, yeah winner or loser. I mean yeah. If you, you lose either way, I mean yeah. You keep me as a friend. <laughs> you, <laughs> that sucks. And then if if I leave, then you lost a friend. Which I mean you know. But you kind of I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Round five. Why is this game show on my podcast? <laughs> Why is this no win situation? Uh, it, it, I mean, it's kind of like a podcast live stream. It, it goes in and out. Of, my, uh, okay, my favorite thing about the podcast currently is the fact that we're taking time in the middle of the music to explain, just as it's playing. <laughs> Explaining jokes. <laughs> Number one sponsor of the West Corwin show. West Corwin has friends. The West Corwin Comedy Hour and West Corwin meets the squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's uh, round five. Round five. Round What's five. Round? What's round five? Name the title 
of a Genis- Jennifer Aniston film remade in the Star Trek universe. Oh my goodness. Name the title of a Jennifer Aniston film remade in the Star Trek universe. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to go to start. I think I, I might be able to get two out of this, but uh, I'll go with uh, Star Trek Generation. She's the one. Mm. Yeah, 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 put, right, put yeah. points on the board. Yeah, put points. <laughs> Fill the board with points. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that, it, you know, I think it might be the only Jennifer Aniston movie I actually know, just because Tom Petty wrote a hit song for it. Oh well, I mean, that's yeah. a great reason. And, and the the cover of the the soundtrack was all Tom Petty. But back that was like '94 or something, and so you would buy like movie soundtracks, even if none of the songs were in the movie, because they would. And then, but it was all Tom Petty, and the CD looked exactly like Wildflowers. But I will tell you, Wildflowers is a far superior album sure. to the soundtrack from She's the One. <laughs> <laughs> that segment brought to you by Wildflowers. An album with much better music than you're listening to right now. Wildflowers. How dare you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Someone I'm, worked very I'm, hard for this music to and, get no royalties And from I am it. super in love with it, and I feel like we should give them a dollar. Oh, yeah. Like, if we can find them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's trip pretty... for two TV game show background theme. Is that what this is called? No, or is no, that no. This else? is called game show. Oh, this is called Proud Music Library presents game show. Game show. The description of the track is: In a game show, contestants play a game by answering questions, acting, or solving puzzles. There are game show. Ga- there are games shows on television or radio, but not the internet. No, this we're, is this is the first one. <laughs> oh, I was taking a whole new We're right. innovative, and you're oh, going yeah. straight to yeah. this is a terrible. <laughs> we've, we've done it wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was raised in church. Um, other Jennifer Aniston movies, uh, just go with it, right? That was with Adam Sandler. Just go with it. Is that a, is that a okay? I no, I'm just I'm. You were saying you can only think you were you said you were going to go for two, and then right. you said the one. Oh right, oh I, I'm going to do another one right oh, now. I go thought for maybe it, go we for trade. It, no, yeah. no, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't Why don't you? you okay, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Take your time. Um, Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Leprechaun. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty fantastic. You could you could lose a you could lose a friend over that. I either yeah. because they thought you were brilliant or because they were like just gross. Uh, I didn't even remember that Jennifer Aniston was in Leprechaun, and now I know that again. Yeah, except that why the, would you do that to me? Right, yeah. it's terrible. Yeah. The production company that made Leprechaun is wants everyone to remember that though, because now she's on the cover of the DVD oh, yeah. as opposed to the it, Leprechaun. The, the, they are among. The only person who doesn't want to know doesn't want you to know that Jennifer Aniston was in Leprechaun is Jennifer. Is Jennifer Aniston, Aniston at this right? Point. You know, weird thing though. So the production company that makes Leprechaun, Jennifer Aniston gets big. They move her to the front of the DVD instead of the Leprechaun. The production company that made Masters of the Universe did not move Courtney Cox to the front of the DVD. What? Over, you know, I mean. But to be fair, Dolph That's Lundgren, fine. pretty sweet he man. Yeah, you have yeah. to. You have to keep him on the cover. Yeah, I yeah. It's a lot more attractive than the Leprechaun. Oh yeah. It's not like they put Skeletor up there. If it was Skeletor on the cover, then maybe then, Courtney Cox. Yeah. Get her. Uh, get Skeletor out of there. Right. Put the girl for. Although, me. if you're trying to sell a He-Man movie and you've got a girl in an '80s jean vest, it okay. might cause a bit of a disconnect. Oh, you think so? Yeah. For the for the. <laughs> that segment brought to you by Confusing Marketing. <laughs> it's what happens when people are high. Confusing marketing. It is nice to have that. To I go love back to. I love every. No matter whenever you get off topic, you should do that every every podcast. Oh, Just, I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. This every, is, yeah, that's this is my intro music. <laughs> this is my outro music. This is your all the time. Uh, it, this took me five seconds to find, <laughs> and a lifetime. <laughs> to get. All right, all right. I think I think I got one. Uh, Jennifer Aniston stuff. Uh, Star Trek. Uh, uh, Star Trek. Frenzesis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna put a stop to that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't earn the. Uh, I didn't earn no, the music. No, you earned about a quarter of the way through the song. <laughs> instead of instead of Genesis, it's friends. Friends is this. Gen <laughs> friends. Yeah. Oh, I could have Star just Trek Jen. Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, that might have been better. They're both very terrible. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, what was what, what else they had? They had Nemesis. They had the un, I mean, there's got to be something with the undiscovered country. Star Trek Six. Oh sure, sure. sure. Yeah, uh, Star Trek Four is the journey home. Star Trek. Star Trek Three is the search, search for, for Spock. Spock. So what what else? What is the Jennifer Aniston movies we have? Uh, oh, 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 we got uh, We're the Millers. We have uh, oh what what is We're that? the Millers? Right. With, yeah, with, with uh, uh, Jason yeah, right. Sudeikis. We're, we're the Millers. So uh, yeah, no, that doesn't fit any of those. No. Uh, yeah, no. We're uh yeah what, what are the new ones do we know jennifer aniston movies she wasn't in mr and mrs smith and she would no. probably hate it if i brought that up because <laughs> i think the movie that ruined her marriage actually yeah. so you could kind of say that's a jennifer aniston movie i mean it's know, it's like, it's you know. six degrees of separate kevin, right. kevin bacon away from she jennifer. certainly helped promote it even no. if she didn't want to no yeah. yeah she was a big part of that they got she there was a there was a there was a chunk of time where she was on every cover as like a look at what's wrong with her. Yeah, because... was she in No Country for Old Men? No, that sucks because that would be awesome because you go Star Trek Five, the undiscovered No, no Country, Country for, for Old Men. Men. That would be that would be a winner if it were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kind of. <laughs> that was yeah. clever. Give me a so... second, Ben. Come on, let's <laughs> totally get through this video. Topic. How many suggestions <laughs> is it going to take me to get to the end of the song? Yeah. Yeah, no, that one, that one's no good. Mm. Oh, wait, the no, no, the undiscovered Star Trek Six was the undiscovered country. Mm -hmm. Star Trek Five is the final frontier. You're correct. So that that was even worse because I was losing all my nerd knowledge too. Oh, no. You know, was she in a movie with whales? Was she in like Free Willy or anything like that? Because you can go somewhere there. <laughs> Star Trek Four, Free Willy. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek for Free uh, Willy. No, it's the, the Journey Home. Star Trek for The Incredible Journey Home. Ha! Uh, that was Michael J. Fox. All right, never mind. <laughs> yep. Who's the one with the dogs? Yeah. And they talked, and the, and the Michael J. Fox dog got hit with a porcupine. I thought he was going to die. I was devastated as a kid. It was pretty terrible. Yeah. She was in The Breakup. She was in The Breakup. With the Vince Vaughn. Right, right. Okay. So, what other Next Generation? Oh, they made First Contact. Was the see was was the new J.J. Abrams one? Was the subtitle for that Generations? Uh, no, Generations was the one with Kirk and yes, that and was Picard. Seven. They made Star Trek with J.J. Abrams and then Star Trek Into Darkness. So you could have Star Trek Into the Breakup, which you know actually just that all that is is you can just put something after into. It didn't. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was bad. This is the least funny thing I've said. The whole that was terrible. Am I getting no, tired? No. Is that yeah? No. We're the Millers into. Yeah. Because they're coming up with a second one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're the Millers into darkness. Yeah. But no. <laughs> you didn't, you reached lean, for I it. For that it. wasn't even a second into the song. You just. Oh, that's just saying the Warriors are about to start playing the Grizzlies. They're not. They haven't played yet. Yeah. It's a historic. Oh, Jesus. That's the. Okay. Wonderful. That was, that was, that was the what end. we had left. Yeah. yeah, that was. It wasn't even. <laughs> And that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. no. did you want me to win? Uh, just yeah. Wanna... Did, did you win? I think I think we're still friends. I mean, we haven't even finished the bag of skittles. I do have so one. I, I, I have one other Jennifer. Anderson. Oh, you got another one. Okay, yeah. Um, Office Space, the Final Frontier. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That would be Star Trek. Star Trek Five. In the office space, space the, the final, final frontier, frontier. Yep. yeah yeah that's a good one mm -hmm. i feel like man what you know i'm gonna go home and look up jennifer aniston on imdb and i'm gonna work something out with star trek six mm -hmm. and like write it in the comments mm. no yeah this uh, is gonna continue into the comments section. yeah in the if, comments. You the, <laughs> if you want to see the if you want to see this continue you just go scroll down several several little flicks of your finger into the comment section where this will have gone on into infinity Right, or the next three jokes that we think of, and then and, and then, then we'll it. just fade out. Has she been in a lot of movies? I just feel like she hasn't been in that many movies. The what? tough thing is, I don't know. Especially the thing I've probably seen the most in my life is because I was a terrible young person was just awful Adam Sandler and Vince Vaughn comedies. So yeah. I I have difficult like uh, I for a long time I was like she was in Dodgeball, right? No, that was Reese Witherspoon. And then several seconds later, no, she was in Dodgeball. That was for sure Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. And right? No, it was that that lady from Hey Dude who married Christina Ben Stiller for a little while. Something? Yeah, yeah. There's a blonde. She's she's gorgeous. Right. Yeah. yeah no, she. Looks but really she's not Reese Witherspoon. She's not. You're right. I'm right. thinking of Little Nicky, where in the scene in Heaven. Right. No. To, yeah. Just to illustrate every movie I saw between the ages of zero to 
They about didn't, friends friends actors didn't have uh I mean, you, you know, it's fine. Like, people like to make fun of, like, uh, you know, Matthew Perry or these other people for, like, being on Friends and then, like, not having a lot after that. But they were on the most successful television yeah. show ever. Yeah. You know, like, for like even following Seinfeld, they were the best show on TV mm -hmm. for, like, what? Like, three or four years, and they were on for seven or eight seasons? Yeah. And it weren't, like, each of them getting paid, like, a million dollars an episode? Oh, for, like, 24 sure. episodes towards for the end? For sure. So, uh, honestly, man, I don't... I, I, Matt LeBlanc still does Top Gear, but, like, why? You know? <laughs> like, why not just go buy all those cars and not have to deal with a camera crew? Exactly. Uh, but, but I don't know. I mean, David Schwimmer had the... He was in Band of Brothers. That was he was cool in that, mm -hmm. but he was his character was totally pathetic. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole. Courtney Cox is in some good. Uh, we mentioned Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. Courtney Cox was in that. Am I taking? I'm taking over your show again. You no, want to talk about Courtney Cox? And no, 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 no. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's just that you know the premise of this podcast is about thirty minutes, and now it's divided into two different segments, both of which are thirty minutes. Are thirty minutes? Well, you know, you can you can break it up. You can Doug Gillen. Doug oh, Gillen, episode one, and Doug Gillen, episode two. I'm like a concept album, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, you might not get into me at first, you know? You might wonder why your friends think this is so cool. Right. But then, like, when you really listen to the whole thing all the way through, uh -huh. you know, then you're like, oh, this is starting to come together, and mm -hmm. you just want to keep coming back <laughs> Yeah, for <laughs> lots more. <laughs> keep coming right back for... Lots more. This program brought to you by Lots More. <laughs> yeah, run out of things to say. We're gonna go to open mic thinking we are the funniest people on the universe. I feel just, like the like yeah, and then there. just just yeah. tank. Right. I don't know. We usually do pretty good. What are we doing tonight? Pet jokes. Yep. Yeah. Pet. This section brought to you by pet jokes. The theme in Amanda Walker's open mic. Yep. <laughs> Pet jokes. <laughs> um, Doug, thank you for being on my podcast. Oh, this has been fantastic. Um, Absolutely. Why don't you go think up some? So I got the reindeer thing. That might work. Oh yeah, just yeah, just, just, just take do the reindeer that with thing. You. Yeah. yeah. Right. At Doug Gillen on Twitter. At Tuesday Show on Twitter. At Memphis is funny on Twitter. Yeah. You Tuesday need... funny on Twitter. Tuesday yeah. funny. I yeah. Well, actually, it's Tuesday funny. <laughs> yeah. And you need to go to April 26th, Tuesday show Brad at the store. Brad Store. That's right. 8 p.m. We'll see you there. Fantastic. I will not talk this much. I mean, you're the host. You're, it's yeah, kind of I, talk, I talk for just a couple seconds. I mean, the, you know, and then yeah. other people talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at Tuesday show. I mean, that's yeah. that's the that's what's advertised, isn't it? Yeah, that I don't I don't talk much. That's why people come. <laughs> They're <laughs> like, he actually like, shuts up. Oh, man. And sits in the corner. You never get to see this. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah, you know? no, this is, it's the opposite of, okay. All right, okay. see ya. Bye. Bye. And then. <laughs>